I would say this is quite the mess out here. You can see right here, we're near Hobby Airport, just east of Hobby. This is Monroe Street you're seeing right here, not too far from Scranton Street. Lots of high water. I would not suggest anyone coming through here. There are obviously some folks already stuck. Now that it's brighter, you can see a lot more of this damage. That's building 42. You can see that top floor heavily, heavily damaged. We were told just a bit ago that Harris County Fire Marshal investigators are on scene. They've been doing interviews with witnesses from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. They're expecting the air quality to be in the good levels. And then again, as the sun sets, tapering back off down uh, back into that moderate level uh, around 9 p.m. The focus today is going to be on that car that Malia's stepfather was driving Friday night, that 2011 silver Nissan Altima. Again, we're in the A Leaf area just off South Kirkwood. ITC did say they are bringing more resources that should be in place by 8 o'clock this morning to help put more water and more foam on this fire, guys. And that's as it intensified overnight because of that reduction in water pressure. So we'll continue to keep you updated. But for now, we're live here in Deer Park. Morning, this is Courtney Carpenter's live in near Winnie this morning where significant flooding has been reported. We see cars that I mean, another vehicle right there stuck in the water. This is just awful. Go ahead and take it away, Courtney. Guys, it really is crazy. You can see that boat speeding across here. I mean, this is uh, very, very flooded out here. Inches and inches of rain on the ground here in Winnie. This is 124, Highway 124. This is FM 1406. We were trying to make our way over to the staging area, like I mentioned to you guys earlier, but we have not been able to find a way that's safe to get there. Lots of water on these roads. Pretty much all these vehicles you can see around us uh, just stuck in the water, and it's been raining like this for hours and hours. This is pretty wild, honestly, just looking around uh, just how much water's out here. I don't know if you can really tell. I know it's hard to tell in the dark, but these should be roads, and they are, uh, you know, clearly inches and inches of water just sitting on top of them. Uh, we were speaking to this gentleman, Don, over here. He tells me uh, he's been just here at this gas station kind of just waiting it out uh, for about the past six hours. Don, you said you lived here your whole life and- Never seen it like this in my life, never. And last year during Harvey, wasn't half this bad. You know, they had a little bit of water in the roads, but nothing like this. So this tell us, uh, you were at your house. You were, you I were asleep. My, I was in my bed. My, my phone alarm went off saying that flash flood warnings. First one I did, I didn't pay no attention. By 11.30, the second one came on, and I said, I got to go. I stepped outside. My trailer was rocking. They probably had two foot of water in their yard. I got a couple of change of clothes in my truck, and that's it. That's the storm drain this guy fell into. We're at the very back of a parking lot at a Love's truck stop off Patton Road. You can see there's still some law enforcement on scene this morning, but this all started last night. DPS was working with the Harris County Sheriff's Office on a joint task force robbery investigation. Their main concern is just lack of trust in the TEA. Most of the folks that spoke out yesterday say they agree. HISD has flaws. They just don't think a state takeover by the TEA is going to help fix those. And this has been a hot topic of conversation, really, especially back to January. That's when the TEA law not looking great for a lot of these folks, hundreds and hundreds of people delayed since yesterday. This is pretty wild. We are here in Terminal C in the United Line. I'm here with Jen Cochran, trying to get home now for quite some time. Tell us your story. When did you get here? Where are you trying to go? We're here this morning with Fort Bend ISD, first day of school here at Colony Bend Elementary. I'm here with Principal Elizabeth Williams. I know you're excited. You've been waiting all summer. Yes, I have been waiting all summer. You can see the bears and the flowers and the cards all set up in Malia's honor here this morning. Now we know, of course, without a doubt, she's gone. The Harris County Medical Examiner confirmed the remains found outside Hope, Arkansas on Friday do belong to Malia. We met this gentleman, Adam, who has been here for a while. You got stuck. Adam, tell us what you were doing and, and how long you've been here. They're the ones set to vote on this this Friday, and pretty much they're voting whether or not to put a $100 million down payment towards segment two of this project. Now, already excitement in the air this morning. You can see these folks back here cheering with their signs. They are ready to go, and you know, it's an exciting day, not just for folks on campus, but really for our city as a whole. The debate is set to start at 7 o'clock this evening. It's going to be interesting to see all the dynamics, since all 10 qualifying candidates will be sharing the same stage for the very very first time. We are out here in Liberty actually coming across some damage here. We are just one street towards downtown from 
90. So right off the main drag here, you can see uh, we've got a part of a roof down over here. We just came up north on 249 towards Tomball and now we're heading east on 99. But if you guys can see, we're not moving very fast at all because we've got a wreck right ahead of us 